Hey guys, in the spirit of the upcoming holiday, we are going to be constructing this haunted satanic themed dark ride. I know the build looks overwhelming, especially for beginners. I also did not plan on an episode this early to be so large. However, with it being my favorite time of year, I wanted to do something a little more challenging and unique. Don't be overwhelmed, I actually cut out two thirds of what I wanted to do with this dark ride to try to simplify it both in size and in detail. We won't be introducing many new techniques and the building itself is straightforward. I will not be theming the interior of the dark ride this time, but will instead save that process for a future episode. This episode is also going to be faster than the previous two. If you feel this is too fast, please let me know, otherwise I will more than likely keep it around this speed to shorten them. I started this build by first laying the groundwork, by framing out the entire building. A cathedral typically has a foundation in the shape of a cross, however, like I stated, I cut it down for the sake of my viewers. I will be focusing on a lot of grey for the main structure and the front facade of the cathedral and only will vary with three different objects for the block types. This will prove difficult for some to differentiate the different layers, so before you do anything like this, make sure you are familiar with how quarter blocks work on the grid. As you see here, I am leaving gaps in these walls randomly. You will see why in a moment, as I will be filling them with the third block type to give the cathedral that old decaying feel. When doing this, I recommend you do not space them out evenly. Placing these in sections randomly, but in large groups, will provide a better aesthetic presence. It is also easier and less time consuming if you do not activate the disabled clearance checks during this to help you quickly and accurately stack. On the front facade of this build, you will see that I am working with three sections. I am building a gothic style architecture arch pattern on each one, the side sections being identical and the center being taller and more prominent. I then work to fill the empty spaces above them to make the front face flush with each other using the same technique to continue the texture of the walls. I chose the color red and black for the windows to emphasize on the satanic feel of the cathedral, giving it that vibe that something is not right. I used the crown molding trim objects to provide window ledges. Here I use these custom curved spike railings as well as some custom fence supports to give some more detail. It's really hard to see as well, but I am using a Victorian style fence in front of these curved spikes. I will use these a few times through the build, but they are not necessary, and are extra work for very little detail, but in the end the meticulous craftsmanship is what's going to make your right stand out. Make sure you provide atmosphere as well. Here you will see that I add a gargoyle statue as well as some floating candles, torches, and even a corpse hanging above the doorway, which I do move to a tree instead in a moment. Instead of making the gargoyle statue symmetrical, I instead use the rock objects to give the impression that a statue once stood there but was destroyed or decayed. Here I start the second tier. I planned during this carefully to make sure I could incorporate the dark ride to accurately function. Remember track rides function on a full grid square. If I were to build halfway through the grid square using the quarter tiles, I would either have to restart or rethink my plan. These doors will be where the ride enters and exits at this tier. Unfortunately, they don't actually function, and the ride does clip through them. However, it is better than the alternative of leaving a hole in the wall. As you just saw, I had to redesign that center section and bring it flush with the sides. This was because I could not get the windows to settle correctly as they only settle on the outside of a grid square. Make sure you turn off clearance checks here, otherwise when you build this track through the wall it will erase your work. The haunted buggy cars I am using will be available in the download in the description if you do not already have them. I shaved the height of the wall down here to accommodate the open air area supported by pillars that we will be working on next. These pillar objects I'm using can be tricky as they work on a quarter grid scale. Make sure you are paying attention to where these are being placed to avoid clipping issues. I will be introducing two new fences here, one on a regular scale and one on a quarter scale. I'm using the full scale fence as an archway lining at the top of these pillar supports. I had to clip them in behind the quarter blocks to get them to work. The quarter railings I decided to color red to try to give the building more character so it did not seem so one-dimensional. 
I added these outcroppings to add in larger custom torches. At first, I do add a lot of these, and by the end of the build, I will be removing most of them as it distracts from the cathedral itself. The top of the cathedral was really tricky, as a real gothic cathedral has an immense amount of detailing, which most is not possible in this game without creating your own custom scenery. So even though what I am building here may not seem interesting, it is on the top of the building, and in my opinion, is not as important as the rest of it. Here I filmed the sides of the front facade, using the same texture techniques as the rest of the build. I also added that red quarter fencing to the top, but we'll be removing it shortly as it seemed repetitive. I used the quarter castle fence to provide as much detailing to the top pillars, and replaced that red fencing I just mentioned with it as well. Here I complete the middle support pillars and the rest of the section. Here I'm going to add in all the windows on the side and even add a new style. Do not forget all the detailing to keep it consistent, such as the window ledges. I also will be going ahead and adding in these side supports as well, all looking like it has crumbled down, just to give it more of that decayed look. Don't be afraid to add in more atmosphere. Yes, too much does look ridiculous, but you don't want to forget about whole sections. I use some more of those gargoyles and even add in some animatronics here. Now we will be starting the second section, in this case the main cathedral structure itself. I extended the right so I could use it as a template and laid down the base work. I will not be showing how I completed the dark right and made it functional in this episode, as it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure your clearance checks are off and you move the station to the ground and build a lift up to it. Or just bring the guests up to the station with some path. There isn't much I'm doing differently here for the next section of this workshop. I'm going to continue with the base structure and the wall textures as well as placing some more windows. Here I started the roof for the main structure. I chose the red color again to help with the variations. I also chose to use a steep roof object as this is typical for gothic cathedrals. I 
I added some more of those curved spikes to give the roof some depth. This time I chose to change it up and make them black. I also continued with Victorian style fence. Every object you're seeing so far is something that we have already done, and there's nothing new. Here I added a spire to the back part of the cathedral. The only new piece I used was a roof piece that was pre-built. Now we are going to start the accent pieces and the structure supports around the main structure itself. I'm using a small quarter brick piece and stacking them, then using an angled flat brick piece and doubling them up to connect to the roof. Now, after all that tedious work is completed, we finalize it by adding some of that red quarter fencing, finishing the Victorian style fence around the roof, and now we introduce a new piece around the base, which is pinched between the blocks. I then use custom fence supports to line the windows and added in a lot more of those gargoyles and torches. I even added in some of the interactive lightning effects around the back. I added two new accent or atmosphere pieces here. I added in a few crows and even some cobwebs. This is where I finish the plaza or the entry for the ride itself. I do change up the pathway texture a bit and add a fence and a bunch of basic foliage and atmosphere. Here we are going to add an extra element to the dark right by giving it a section where it leaves the cathedral and goes into a haunted graveyard. I originally planned so much more for this area, instead I decided to keep it basic. My original thought process was to create a mausoleum structure and custom gravestones. It still turned out as a great addition to the ride itself. I use a lot of new atmosphere pieces here, some new foliage, gravestones, and freshly dug grave objects, and center it all around this one gravestone that has some extra hints of evil.
I added in a few extruding brick objects just to give it a bit more character and then added in a final touches such as vertical vines. And there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please make sure you subscribe and let me know if you have any requests for future episodes. Happy Halloween!